In this episode, we're going to look at how to create very basic commands. So for that, create a new project. I'm going to call it episode 05. Using the latest version and make sure you use Java 17 or later. And as we learned in the second episode of the series, the plugin.yml is the starting point of a plugin. Here we specify the entry point, the compatible version, and the name of the plugin. When you want to create a new command, you also need to register it here in the plugin YML. To do that, create a commands section, and if you want to create a um, command called fly, for example, you just type it here. Every command in the plugin.yml consists of different things. First, the name, which is specified by the section name of the command. Then we can also enter a description to tell the server what this command will do. This text will also be shown in the help messages and makes makes you fly. A different attribute would be the um, aliases attribute. So aliases, and those are simply different names for this command. So if you want the uh, fly command to not only be um, executable by typing slash fly, but also typing slash flight, for example, then you enter this into the aliases section. You can have multiple aliases, we have one at the moment, which is flight. And if I want to enter a second one, for example, F, you just do it by adding another um, list entry. And to now register the command, we need to go into our main class that extends Java plugin and go into the onEnable method. And here we use the get command to get a command, in this case, fly, and make sure this is the exact same as we specified here. And what this does, it gets a plugin command object from the name you just passed into the method here. If a command could be found with that name in the plugin.yml, it will simply return the command with all the properties, with um, the descriptions and with the aliases, and if it could not find a command, it will return null. But since we are sure that we specified the command here, this will not return null and we don't have to null check it. And as I just said, this method will return a plugin command object. And when you go into that object, you see this execute method. This is the method that will be called by the server when a player executes this command. As you can see, it will have a command sender object, which is the thing that executed the command. For example, a player or the console. It will have the command label, which is um, the name of the command that has been used. In this case, it could be fly, it could be flight, or it could be F. And the other thing will be the arguments. We will look at the arguments in the next episode. In the beginning of the execution, it will just assume that it was unsuccessful. And after that, it will check if the um, plugin that belongs to the command is not enabled. And if this is the case, it will throw a new exception and uh, the command will no longer be executed. Then after that, it will check the permissions of the sender. So if the sender does not have permission to execute the command, it will uh, return and otherwise it will call the executor of this command, which is a class that handles the logic of the command. And as you can see, it will um, call a method called onCommand in this, and it will um, pass the sender, the command, which is this class, the command label, and the arguments. And as you can see right here, we have a method uh, in the plugin command object to set the executor. And this is exactly what we need to do in order to make a command. So remember, this will get a plugin command object for the fly command, which we specified in the plugin YML. And now we call the set executor method to set the executor. And as you can see, this needs to be of type executor. And this is usually what we call our command classes. So let's create a command executor. I usually create uh, my commands in a package called commands and then call it like the main label of the command. So fly and add command in the end. And then as we just saw, this only accepts command executor types. So we need to make, so we need to make this class a command executor. And we can do this by implementing command, command executor. Then we need to implement the methods. And as you can see, this is the onCommand method that will be called in our plugin command class whenever the plugin is executed. So the executor, this will be our fly command class and of this executor, the server calls the onCommand method, which is this one right here. 
And as you can see, we have our command sender here, command, label, and the arguments. And when we look into the plugin command class again, we can see that um, the success variable is set to the return value of uh, the on command method, this one here. So whatever we uh, return in this method uh, will indicate if the command was successful or not. And we can see if it was not successful, the server will just get the usage message and send it to the sender. So it will get uh, the usage message that we defined in the plugin YML. Usually it looks something like this usage command. This command makes you fly, but we're not going to use it because we're making our own validation system. So back into the fly command class, we can set this to true because we will ignore it. As I said a few seconds ago, now we can begin with the command. This will be a fly command, so only players will be, ex uh, will be able to execute it. And the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the command sender, so the thing that executed the command, is of type player and nothing else. And in Java we can do it by checking if the sender variable is an instance of player. So if sender instance of player and you want to get uh, the opposite of it, so if not sender instance of player, this checks if sender is not a player. And we are inside uh, this if block if this is true. So here if sender is not a player. And as I said earlier, this is the case that we do not want. So we're going to send the sender message in red color that only players can execute this command. And then we will simply return, return true. And this is basically all we need to make sure that the command can only be run by a player. So we are here if sender is a player. And now we can uh, safely cast the sender variable to a player. So let me create a new player object, final player, call it player is equal to sender and cast it to player. And now we can use the player object to do whatever we want. We can set the game mode, we can uh, set the health and what uh, we need for this command is set allow flight to true. And what this does is it simply tells the server that if this player is flying, it should not be kicked for that. And then we need to actually make the player flying with player.set flying true. Now to make it a bit more user friendly, we can also send the player message. So send message in green, for example, you are now flying. And this is basically all we need for our command executor. And now we just need to set the fly executor to the fly command here in the on enable method. And we call the fly executor fly command. So let's pass fly command. And this is basically all you need to do to create a very basic custom command. So let's go through it again. Uh, what we first did is define our command in the plugin YML. In the command section, we gave it a description and a few aliases. And then in our main class, we call the get command method to access the command from plugin.yml. And uh, then we set the executor to fly command. So whenever we run slash fly, or slash flight or slash f, the server will forward this traffic to our executor that we defined in our fly command class. And inside the fly command class, we implemented command executor. And then we filled out the on command method to define our logic of the command. The on command method has different parameters. The first one is the command sender. This is the entity that uh, ran the command. This could either be the player or the console or command blocks actually as well. Then this is the command um, object. The next one is the label that has been used. So in our case, it could be a slash fly slash flight or slash F. And the next one will be the arguments, which we will take a closer look at in the next episode. Now let's test it in game. So export the plugin as usual. Go to the Maven tab, lifecycle package, and the plugin jar will be in your targets folder. And if you can't see it, by the way, you need to go into the three dots right here, tree appearance and show excluded files. This one is a plugin jar. And now simply drag and drop it onto the server and start the server.
And now on the server, make sure that um, the plugin is installed correctly. And now if you run the command slash fly, you can see that we can fly now. And we also don't get any fall damage. You can also uh, run slash help fly and see all the things that we uh, specified there. Those are the properties we defined in the plugin YML. The description, usage, which we left empty, and the aliases. And in the next episode, we will take a closer look at commands and learn how to make more complex commands.